So I'm going to show you different ways you can draw the torso. We will do some step-by-step -step practice. The image on the left you can see is basically just two ovals. If you are not comfortable drawing 3D forms, which are the next two, right, you can stick with shapes. As long as the proportions and the mass of those shapes are correct, that's totally fine. If you're standing straight, the compression is by your back. Give me your best posture right now. Sit up as straight as you can. You will notice there's a curve in your back. So when a person is standing up straight, they are extending their torso from the front and compressing their torso in the back. Think of a pillowcase, <laughs> how a pillowcase can bend and compress. We're gonna draw that. So let's draw together a gesture like this. We're gonna pretend it's the back of a person. Okay, so let's draw in the first rib cage shape. You can make these two ovals about the same size. But remember on a female body, right, the hips are gonna be slightly larger. So in this case, the shoulders are going up and the hips are going down. So if your shoulder tilts this way, your hips will counterbalance that naturally. If it doesn't, then you'll fall over. <laughs> And usually speaking, if your shoulders do this, your head will also counterbalance. So your head will go this way. Head, shoulders, and hips will counterbalance. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a compression. So pretend this is a pillow. And then on this side, it's going to be an extension. Extension, compression. You can draw a second line if you want. And then if you wanna draw the head, so this is the back. So the back of the head, there would be a neck kind of connects shoulder or the head to the rib cage your spacers would go in here and then you can you know, draw the arms let's say or the action of the arms maybe the action of the legs however you want to counterbalance this pose it starts with that torso right the extension and the compression so one side is going to be extended the other side is going to be compressed if you want to go 3d or you want to try a new challenge then you can break up the torso into these forms i feel like cylinders don't really represent a human body super well because they're not perfect cylinders they're kind of flat cylinders. So I would either go boxes or I would go to these uh, basic shapes. So let's do one where it is super compressed. So this figure is going to be leaning forward. So there's the rib cage and let's say here are the hips really leaning forward. So let's say the hips are like this if you want to draw a center line and the torso is like that. Okay, so they're really, really leaning forward. So then pillowcase doing this, compress. So this is the front, this is the back, this is the front, and the shoulders, the legs, and then the head would be like leaning forward as well. Say the head's like this, say the arms are like that. If you like to support the channel and the creation of free arts education, become a member on Patreon. Again, you've got your compression, if you want to turn this into a pillowcase, you can actually draw a little pillow. <laughs> the last one we can do a pose going the opposite way. So let's do a bit of a twist here. So here I'm drawing a rib cage that is skinnier because this rib cage is from the side. Okay, it's from the side and you can see the arm is like that. And let's have it twisting the opposite way. Okay, so this is another view from the back. I don't know if you can start to see it, but the pillowcase would look like this. Twist, compression, extension. Right, see the pillowcase there? And if we wanted to put in the legs, say the legs are like this. And let's say this person is looking back. So they're turning. Now they're looking back at us. So extension, compression. This is how you get a dynamic figure in the torso. It's all about that extension and compression. This is how I make up figures. I say, okay, what do I want their rib cage to be doing? What are the realistic proportions of that pillowcase? Join a virtual class to learn live from our professional artists. Get creative assignments, individual guidance, and real-time feedback on your artwork. Start today and level up your practice. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss an upload. Join our art nerd community with the links down below. Here are some other videos you can check out next.